So today I want to talk about wire tensions and weaving. So we won't use a stone today, we'll just focus on the weaving. So we'll make a pendant just out of weaves. And I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using power wire today. Um, rose gold silver plated power wire. So I've got um, 20 gauge, which is 0 0.81 millimeter, and the 28 gauge, which is 0 0.33 millimeter. And for the base wires, I've cut four lengths at nine inches, which is 23 centimeters. And for the weaving wire, you'll need about 200 centimeters. I've wound mine onto a bobbin. This is a Bobby's bobbin by Beadsmith. It just stops the wire from flailing about while you're working and keeps it all nice and tidy so then you can work with a longer lens because there's no way you could have 300 centimeters on your wire while you're working it'd just be a nightmare so we're going to need um, a jump ring i've lost what i'm saying now so this is a eight millimeter outside measurement i'm using a silver filled wire for my jump ring i usually use 1.5 millimeter um, which would be 14 gauge, I think, for the jump rings. But yeah, that's silver filled because this is obviously silver plated, but it has got a lovely shine to it. So I thought I'd give some power wire a go. So take two of your wires. Um, and if you're making the, the little pendant that I'm going to be making, we're going to start six centimetres from the beginning of the wires. If you're just having a practice with weaving, grab yourself some um, off cuts of wire. You just need some short lengths of wire. So when we, when we start weaving, you want to hold your wires. Um, you want a little bit of a gap in your wires. And you want the ends of the wires to slowly kink out a little bit, just so you can get your wire in between them. So you want just a little gap in between them and you want them to flare out a little bit at the ends. So then take your weaving wire and pop your weaving wire in the same hand so you're holding it all in the same hand and you've got that gap there and then we're just going to wrap around the bottom wire so just holding the wires I do tend to hold the wires quite tight we're just going to wrap around that wire and then as you get to this point you push it down so I'm pulling on the wire to get it nice and tight around that bottom wire and we'll wrap three times around the bottom wire always push it together to keep it nice and tidy so now we're going to wrap around both wires so bring your wires nice and close together and then as you do this next part and we wrap around the two wires I pull the wire up here and then I just fold it over that top wire and you want to keep that gap if you've pulled it and it's pulled the wires together then that's no good because you won't be able to get your your single wire back in between the wires so you permanently need that gap between the wires and we're going to go around again and the more wraps you do around the two wires the more likely it is to come together see more wires are coming together if you pull down your wires all come together so you just want to keep that gap between the wires so there's going to be a lot of talking in this video so we go three times around the both wires push it together my wires again they've come together so I'm going to make a gap and now we're going to wrap just around the bottom wire so we go around the bottom wire and then push it right the way down really when you're just going around the one wire you can pull it as tight as you like we go three wraps around the bottom wire keep pushing it together and that's it we're now weaving across the two wires so we go around the two wires and again, I pull to get it nice and tight, but I'm pulling up there. And then I just fold it over the top and let go of it. So we go pull up. So we're pulling it nice and secure and then just fold it over the top there. 
so you're not really pulling your wires together as such keep making sure you've got that nice gap and that's our repeat just across the two wires so three times around that bottom one again and again you can go as tight as you like I do tend to hold it really quite tight with this hand and then we go around the two so really it does come down to practice as well you just keep doing it over and over and it will get easier with time and you, you think about it less the more you do it like it's it's different to start with because it's something you're doing for like the first time or the second time or the third time but it does get easier over time so that's our first weave over two wires so we need to do if you're doing my pattern if you're doing my um pendant then we need to do 12 of these 12 um, of the three wraps around the bottom wire three wraps around both wires if you're just having a practice obviously you can do whatever you like so i've done 12 repeats of that weave going to cut that off from the beginning flatten it down So now if you're doing, if you want to make this pendant I'm making, we need to add the other wires. So I'm adding them to be the same length as the other ones. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to turn the whole thing over because I want that weave to be at the top of this little pendant I'm planning. So we'll bring the wire down to the bottom and then we'll start talking about tensions again. So hold your wires. So you've got all four and you've got those nice gaps between them and they're quite spread out on the ends. And we're gonna go around, we'll come up between the bottom two <clears throat> over the third wire I'm just getting my wire to the bottom and we'll come under the bottom wire so we can now start weaving across all four wires so if you're having a practice and you want to look at your wire tensions grab yourself four just for any length of practice pieces and we'll start from there so you're holding your wire <clears throat> And you've got gaps now between all of your wires and your wires are nice and spread out for weaving. Again, as we did um, before, you, you need to, um, we're going to do three wraps around the bottom wire. So as we go over the next wires, so I'm going to go over the second wire, grip the wires tightly with this hand and then forget about it so just hold them nice and tight and we can keep adjusting them as we go so again i'm pushing it between the wires i'm not pulling it down if anything i'm pulling it back and i'm pushing it down between the wires and then once it's there i kind of just fold it down the back so you're not pulling if you pull down on this wire you're going to pull the wires together so for this next little weave what we're going to do now is we're going to go over the third wire so i pull the wire up i go over the third wire then i pull it to the back so i'm pulling it into place and i'm pulling it out to the back and then i fold it down the back this is just the way i do it this is the way i found is easier for getting the tensions right if you pull it through the wires and pull it down you're going to pull all your wires down so for this weave i'm going to now come up between the bottom two wires and i'm going to go over the top so i pull it up and i'm kind of pulling it back again and then i fold it over the top wire under the bottom wire i'm going to go over the third so i pull it up i go over the third 
and again I'm pulling it to the back folding it down and then I'm going to go around two wires and then three times around the bottom wire so that's the repeat for this weave over the four wires but I'll do that a few more times with you so really wire tension it, do, it, it, it is a problem and it is something that we need to address and work on but really it just takes practice and time and you find your way like my way is I always pull to the back and it's not until you slow down and have a look that you realize you actually do that if I pull down at this point I'm going to pull the wires down and they're all going to come together but I push to the back and then I kind of fold it over the wire Pull up, I pull up to keep it nice and tight. Pull back and then fold it over the wires. So I hope that helps if you are struggling with your wire tensions. And then we go over. Is that right? That's not right at all, is it? We come under the bottom wire. So we go around the bottom two, then around the bottom three. Come up between the bottom two and go around the top three. Then we go around the bottom three. Now I've pulled that wire down a bit, so I need to correct the gap. I do it all the time, which constantly correcting the, the, the gap. Sometimes I do, I do get my tensions a little bit more in different places. Then I'm going around the two wires. Then I'm going around the bottom wire. Push your weave together, keep it nice and tidy, and then we'll just keep repeating that weave. I'm just going to keep weaving so you can see how I do it. Because I had people, somebody messaged the other day and said, could you take it a bit slower and talk about the wire tensions? You do start off with holding on to everything a bit tight but that's expected just keep correcting your wires keep adjusting it as you go just keep stopping and having a look at what's going on there's no race take it as slow as you like if you can go really slow and find out what you're doing wrong that's making those wires pull together you can fix a problem early on instead of racing to get that big weave done the other thing that I, I did at the beginning when I was first weaving is if you don't keep an eye on these, constantly keep changing these, looking at these gaps, they tend to pull together. And after they've pulled together, you try and correct them. They stay together in the weave and then they come apart. So your weave has a warping effect. So if you do get that, you can undo it and redo it. But if you've pulled your wires together and then you pull them apart and carry on weaving, you're going to have like this part where the weave squeezes and then it comes apart again. So you really need to keep adjusting it. If you can keep adjusting it with every single step to start with, just bent all my wires. Keep pushing it together, have a look at the gaps and then do the next step. Push it together, have a look at your gaps. So if you're struggling, really take it slow. If you can do that between each step, if you're really struggling with it. Oh. And then you can get quicker over time. These, these wires are actually behaving themselves quite well. I think the uh, the copper wires, because I do love working with copper. I don't work with this power wire very often, but it is quite tough, so it is tending to stay in place for me. I'm just going to keep doing this weave a little bit longer. I've really pulled the wires together there, if you can see that. So I'm going to stop and just correct the wires. 
So now we come up between the bottom two, over the top. Pulled my wires together a bit there. And three wraps around the bottom wire. So I've kept re repeating that. We've aimed for 10, I got carried away and done 11. So what I'm going to do is just take my pliers, just carefully flatten the weave. Can you see how it looks nicer when it's flat? So I've done 11 repeats of that. I was going to say do 10. So if you're practicing, keep practicing, get yourself some more um, practice wires, just cut some shorter wires. It's easier to start with the shorter wires. If you're making this pendant with me, we're going to turn over and we're going to do, we're going to come back down and do that weave again on this side. So bring your wire up between the bottom two, wrap around the middle two wires and bring your wire to the bottom. So now we're going to weave just across the bottom two wires as we did at the beginning, three wraps around the bottom wire. And then three wraps around those bottom two wires. Something else you have to keep adjusting as you're working is these at the end because they keep bend. I keep I keep smacking this one and it keeps really bending, but they keep moving and keep bending. So keep adjusting those. You just need a gap so you can get between them. So we need to do the same amount of repeats on this side as we did on the other side. I think it was twelve. And just keep focusing on that gap. You need to keep an eye on that gap there all the time. So I've done my repeats on that weave. So what we're going to do now is... Grace is woofing in her sleeve. This middle weave here... I'm going to bend it into an arc into a nice bend. Try and bend it as evenly as you can. And the weave, you bend it so that the three wraps are around the outer and the points of these little, little trees all point into the middle. Remember on one of my earlier videos I called that weave little trees because they do, they look like little trees. So you want all your little trees standing upright and the weave arcs around. Just trying to push it all together. So you've got that nice curve in there. And then we're going to take this weave that's still got the wire attached to it, which has also slid along the wires a little bit. 
I'm going to flatten that weave a little bit as well, I think. We'll take this weave and we're going to take it over the other two wires there and loop it around. I want it to go to the back. Loop it around to the back. that. You really can do whatever you want with these wires or you can follow me if you want to. So I'm going to continue to add a few more weaves to this wire here. The three wraps around the bottom wire, three wraps around the two wires. I'm going to continue adding a few more repeats onto there. So I just want to let you know, I actually did a written tutorial all about weaves and weaving. Um, so if you're interested in that, it's just a load of pictures. Um, a load of pictures on a, on a word file, it's a load of pictures and a load of descriptions talking you through lots of different weaves. And um, it's quite quite a large tutorial because it has quite quite a lot of weaves on there. I um, I made a little advert for it. I'll find it and I'll, I'll add the advert on here so you can see what I'm talking about. But that's over on my website. So this is my uh, weaving tutorial for beginners. It's instant download. And I've done many, many weaves in this one. From beginner right through to advanced weaves. There's a few bales in there too. So we've got two, three, four and five wire weaves. That you can add to anything you want to. Any project that you're working on. It's a 69 page PDF, that's an instant download and loads of pictures for you to follow along. So check out my Etsy shop to see all of my written tutorials. So I've added more repeats to that, that weave there. And I'm going to bend it around and I want it to meet where the end of that big weave is there. And when you're happy with the amount of weave repeat, so you get that kind of shape, I'm going to cut that weaving wire off and flatten down that little cut end. And then I'm going to wrap that around, holding that in place at the back there. I'm going to wrap these two wires over there. And I want them nice and flat. And take them over to the back. So next I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to scoop it around to follow that weave. And I'm going to let it sit a little bit higher than the weave and just take it slowly. So it's like that. And then the next one, I'm going to gently scoop that around, just carefully and slowly, bending the wire around with my fingers. And then I'm going to hold the front of it, because I like the shape of the front of it. Push it around into place. You get that nice shape. And then I'm going to turn to the back. And I really like that shape and I don't want to upset it. So I'm going to hold that really firmly there in place. I'm going to take these wires and I'm going to bend them through to the front, through the middle of that loop there. And then I'm going to bend them around, uh, I'm bending them over the big weave so that it holds that in place there. And bring the wires up the front there. I'm pinching it so that I'm not misshaping it as I pull those wires up to straighten them a little. And really give it a good squeeze.
and now we're going to have a look at the other end. So we take this bottom wire, the bottom weave, and I'm going to bend it over the front of those wires and loop it around to the back. And as we did for the other end, I'm going to bring these two wires around too. So I'm going to take this one first, scoop it around. And take it to follow that weave. Then this one scoops around. If you take it slowly then you can watch and decide on the shape as you bend it. So those two wires go round. As before I'm going to hold them in place and I'm going to fold them through that middle there. And then I'm gonna, holding them very firmly in place, bend them over the big weave. Again, you can do whatever you like with these wires and initially we were just practicing weaves. So I'm just twisting this weave into a, into a shape really. It'll all make sense in a moment. So these two wires that went around the first time, the first lot of wires that went around, I'm going to just cut those to finish at the back. So I'm just going to squeeze them a little bit so they're pressed firmly around that weave and I'm going to cut them sort of across the back there, rather I'm going to fire them across the room. So these two wires that are from this weave. I'm going to bring that around to the side. And I'm going to wrap it around the little weave. I'm going to bring it over to the front and I'm going to bring one wire around to the right in fact I'm going to take the other wire around to follow I'm going to take that wire up. So I've got one comes down and one goes up. So I need to add a little bit of weaving wire there in the middle. So I'm going to cut a short piece of wire about, about six inches long. I'm going to wrap three times around one of the wires. And then I'm going to wrap around both of the wires, really pulling them together. So I've gone around twice, now I'm going to go around the little weave. 
Oh, come on. So I'm strapping it down to the weave there. I think it's best to go around this side of the wire to hold it down. So you can't see the wires pulling. And I'm going to go around the weave again just to tie it down nice and firmly, nice and securely. Pull it up so you can't really see it. And I'm going to go around the wire that way again, just so you can't really see it. If you go around the wire the other way, you'll see it pull in a little bit. So I'll go around that a few more times. Strange going around the other way. And then I'll cut that off. Cut it off at that end as well. And I'm going to curl those wires so I am going to use my round nose pliers. So, it's a little curl and a slightly bigger one at the top there. He's going to stick up my sleeves. So, I'm just going to curl it around into quite a tight curl that one and the top one is going to be slightly bigger And I really could do with tying that top curl down as well. So I need to add a little bit of weaving wire and attach that down to the weave too. So I've attached that top loop down with a few wraps gone around the weave and then wrapped a few times on the other side. So looking at these two top wires now, I'm going to take this one. And I'm just going to scoop it slightly. And then I'm going to take this one. I'm going to scoop that one slightly too. So that's how I want them to look. And then I'm going to hold on at the front, bend it over, that weave to the back, same with that one. And then I'm just going to cut those wires, cut them quite short. Oh, it's sliding. Hold on. That's it. So I've cut them quite short. I bent them over the weave. I'm just going to squeeze them quite tightly around that weave so they're pinched on and they don't move. If you've got short wires, you're okay to do that. If it was a long wire, I wouldn't finish it like that because it will pull off. So I think I'm going to finish off this side the same. I quite like that. So I'm going to remove all my tools. I'm just going to adjust my wires so they come up more centrally in the middle there. 
and then I'm going to take the first one I'm going to put a scoop in it so it goes over there and then I'm going to scoop this one that's Gracie snoring kind of goes over next to it kind of that shape and when you're happy with the shape, pinch it at the front, bend the wires over the weave, nice and snug to the back there to get that nice shape. And then I'm going to cut those wires. And press them firmly around. The I had to lift those wires up a little bit. To squeeze it around the weave because it went round behind the wires. Oop, can you see that? So I lifted the wires a little bit and now I'm just going to push them back down. So something a bit different for you this week. You can have it either way you like. Just need to attach the jump ring on there now. So I'm going to pop my jump ring around the two bare wires at the top there so there we have it I've attached my cord to the top you really can do whatever you want when it comes to um, weaving really I just wanted to focus on the tensions today so you end up with your weave being the same size all the way if you do um, pull the wires tight, you tend to misshape the weave. So if you just, when you're starting out, just take it really slowly so you can see the weave um, taking shape as it goes. And as for these curls and swirls and wire handling at the end, the more practice you can get in with these, the better. It strengthens up your fingers and it gets you used to handling the wires. So it's all quite interesting really you can put the jumping at the top or the bottom or you can put it at the top and the bottom and you could hang a dangle or you could pop it on a bracelet you can really do whatever you like um like i say i did um, a written tutorial on weaving that's all about weaving so if you do want to check that out pop over to the website oh and i did do a slightly different version in gold while i was just messing about trying to work out what to do with all these weaves. So I hope you find this tutorial interesting and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. So thanks for watching another one of my videos. Please subscribe if you and hit the notification icon if you want to be notified of new videos that I do. Um, please like and comment on this video and let me know what you thought. If you want to see my written tutorials, they're over on Etsy. You'll find the link below. There might even be a link on the screen. And I will see you all in the next video. This is Gracie, if you didn't know. See you in the next one. Bye!